Hey, what's up, Dividend Team? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got an amazing lineup for you. I got three stocks to buy right now. Guys, thanks for stopping by. My name is Dividend Rick. This is my channel. My channel talk about just basic investing and mainly investing with stocks with dividends. Guys, I sure do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get into these top three stocks to buy right now. Make sure you follow the links in the description, guys. I sure do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So the first one on the list, we're going to look at Oracle, ticker symbol O-R-C-L. It's at $113.74. Let's look at this five-year chart. It's up 114.83%, guys. Doing amazing. Let's look at some dividends over here. Annual dividend yield is 1.43. Let's see. Let's go a little deep dive into these dividends. So we got. It goes all the way back to 2016. Well, on this one, you can look it up. You can look it up even further back on your own. 2016, 17, we got climbing dividends year over year. Dividends going up. Let's look here. It is. We got a three-year Kager that's. Compound annual growth rate of 10.1%, a five year of 11%, 10 year of 21.7%. It's not bad, not bad. Payout ratio 40.79%. That's pretty good. It's pretty decent payout ratio. So that's that. Like, what does or you're like, what does Oracle do? Who's Oracle? What do they do? Let's look at what they do. Oracle Corporation offers products and services that address enterprise information technology environments worldwide. Its Oracle Cloud Service software and service offering include various cloud software applications. They do software, computing, all kinds of wonderful stuff. They have the cloud services, pretty much everything computers. Let's go to their web page. So this is their site right here. This is all the stuff. You can go to their site and learn about it yourself. Make sure, make sure you do your due diligence, your own research, guys. Here's some of the people that use them. They got 400,000 customers trusted world, uh, worldwide. Go to their site. Check it out. See if you want to buy them. If you do, great. If you don't, whatever. That's fine. I'm going to get some of these Oracle stocks. So, I mean, they're pretty good, pretty decent. I've been around for a very long time, guys. And uh, that's just something I'm going to put in my lineup. And uh, if you want to, you can do it too. Let's go to stock number two. We're going to look at Ford. Why are we looking at Ford? Because Ford has been around forever. Let's look at their five-year. Oh, they're kind of down right now into one day. Five-year, they're up 46.38%, as you can see here, 46.38%. So, everyone knows what Ford does. Ford makes automobiles. Their market cap, large cap, of $49.19 billion. Shares held by institution, 54%. Let's go to their dividend. Very important. Dividend, 4.85% dividend. They've been paying dividend out for years and years. They had a little... Dropping the dividend right here and right here, as you can see, and we both know why. You can look at the years 2020, 2021. We know why that happened, but they have, you know, back to 16, they had regular dividend and special dividend, special dividend 17, special dividend 18, special dividend 23, and we already have a special dividend in 24. That's amazing, guys. They do have a pretty high payout ratio, 116%. We look at their three-year Kager, it's 58.7%. And uh, let's look at some of their uh some of their competition. Mercedes has a 7.2% yield. Honda, 2.82% yield. Harley Davidson, 1.79% yield. So I'm not gonna go to uh Ford's website because you all know what Ford does. They make trucks, they make cars. Breaking off into the uh, EV section, even though their Mustang, their new Mustang, electric Mustangs, not doing too hot, but they sell more pickup trucks than anybody else, and they're doing great money wise, doing really great. Stocks climbing, and they're only at twelve dollars. They're twelve dollars and thirty three cents, guys. I mean that 
Make sure you give me a thumbs up. That's pretty cheap. It's not bad. I have 300 shares of Ford right now, and I'm probably going to pick up another 100 within the next couple of weeks because that's what I want to do, and they have a great dividend. All right, let's go to stock number three. Here it comes. A, B, B, V, Ab, V. What does Ab, oh, well, look, you know what? Let's look at the five-year. Here it is, five years up 121.63%. Check out these dividends, guys. 3.42% dividend yield. Look at that, year over year, climbing, 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 climbing every single year. Payout ratio, 220%. That's kind of high. That's Ridiculously high, but they keep paying it, so I'm going to keep investing. Three-year Kager, 7.8%. And you're like, what does AbbVie do? What does AbbVie do? They make pharmaceutical-style stuff. AbbVie discovers, develops, manufactures, and sells pharmaceuticals worldwide. The company offers, company offers Humira, a therapy administered as an injection for autoimmune that's pretty important. And these other big words here that I don't know what it is. So, plaque psoriasis, psoriatic disease, and Crohn's disease, Renvoq to treat rheumatoid and psoriatic arthritis. Bunch of big words here, guys. I can't read it. Let's go to their website. Look at these wonderful people just doing great stuff for the world. $7.1 billion invested in R&D in 2022. Looks like a pretty good company. Been around for a long time. I have them in my lineup, guys. If you want them in your lineup, go ahead and do it. They got a lot of good stuff there. Let's go back to their five-year chart, checking them out. Yeah, 122%. Uh, Schwab rating has them at a B, as you can see here. MSCI, a triple B. Morningstar, right in the middle. They come with Moat Wide. Refinitat, whatever that thing is, says to, uh, uh, it's outperforms the market. I mean, it's pretty decent, pretty decent stuff. And these ETFs holding this company, these are all the ETFs holding this company right here. You can see in the middle. Just uh, before you buy anything, make sure you do your own due diligence. Invest with your own money smartly. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do. But these are the three for this week, the month of March, that I'm going to buy. I already have a couple of them. I need to pick up some Oracle, put that in my lineup. Uh, guys, we sure do appreciate such a short little video. Appreciate you talking about the channel. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Follow the links in the description. All right, guys. Peace out.